स्टडी आई क्यू आई एस अब तैयारी हुई अफोर्डेबल हेलो नमस्कार 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 माय नेम इज पूजा द्विवेदी वेलकम टू माय क्लास द डेली करंट अफेयर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टडिंग वेल बिकॉज दिस इज अ गोल्डन पीरियड टू स्टडी फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हुआ गोइंग टू अपीयर फॉर यू पी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू करंट अफेयर्स दिस इज माय जॉब दैट आई प्रोवाइड यू द क्रिस्प एंड कंसाइज प्रिलिम्स रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन ऑन अ डेली बेसिस थ्रू दिस क्लास दैट इज द डेली करंट अफेयर्स डू नॉट नीड टू वरी अबाउट मेकिंग नोट्स बिकॉज वी हैव टू स्टडी स्मार्ट एज वेल so i provide the pdf of whatever i teach here through my telegram channel that is by the name of pooja devi upsc if you have any questions regarding this examination you can also talk to me on my instagram channel all right so let's move forward and talk about the myria events that we have to cover so lena channel so lena channel uh, with respect to this i give you a practice question those who have answered it correctly need not worry i will take your names by the end of this class let's solve this question first the solena channel is a part of volga river danube river ural river Congo River. The correct answer to this question will be option B, Danube River. It's a distributary of the Danube River, and recently Russia has attacked the ports and the facility, grain storage facility at the Solina port, and that is why this question has been asked. Now, Solina Channel, beg your pardon. Solina Channel is a distributary of the river Danube, which is the second longest river of Europe. the first one being volga and it is the longest river in the european union so keep the difference in mind it's a 63 km long distributary of danube it lies completely in the country of romania and this is the biggest take away from here because romania is a nato member so it is yet to be seen how nato reacts as in does it really sends more ammunition and arms in support of romania or not Okay so Black Sea Grain Deal this was a good initiative that was taken by Turkey and the United Nations as mediators so that Ukraine and Russia could say that okay we are going to provide a safe passage in the Black Sea only so that Ukraine through the ports of Odessa Yuzhny Chernomorsk can deliver its food grains can you know uh, transport its food grains to the rest of the world so that food security can be maintained but Russia wasn't happy with it so it withdrew recently uh, recently only it withdrew from the black sea grain initiative and hence ukraine thought i should not look for alternatives so solina channel was one amongst them but the danube river we have to know about this as well because it could be asked in our examination it your it's europe's second longest river but the longest one in the european union it originates in germany's black forest goes through the borders of many important countries countries include germany austria slovakia hungary croatia serbia romania bulgaria moldova and ukraine basin is in nine more countries italy poland switzerland czech republic slovenia bosnia and herzegovina montenegro republic of macedonia as well as albania and it empties into the black sea why are the different distributaries as you can see over here this emptying into the black sea that is why it was important for us to know this consider the following ear authentication finger vein id voice id retina scan iris recognition how many of the above can be used as a method for biometric authentication and identification or identification identification means identifying an individual on the basis of biometric data which can be collected through various methods iris scanning uh retinal recognition iris recognition all these are the method for that authentication means supposedly i am claiming to be pooja devi and my biometrics are stored with this particular data fiduciary if they have to verify that i am the same pooja devi i am claiming claiming to be then they will authenticate my biometric which could be you know taken from any method voice id ear authentication ear shape recognition and they can say that yes your data is matching in our from our records you are pooja devi so this is authentication and identification the basic difference between the two ear authentication in which we see the shape of the ear of people and shapes do differ on an individual level the shape of it so that is why ear authentication can be done through, through that then we have finger vein id veins in our fingers also differ the space between them the mounts the knuckles like this voice id like i'm speaking right now how and what design does my a uh, mouth make when i speak this can also be used retina scan and iris recognition are the very two important methods for such 
uh, determination, biometric determination. So all five will be the correct answer. Recently, the Department of Tele Telecommunication has said that whoever is dealing in supply of SIM cards, they will have to authenticate themselves biometrically. They have to buy, do biometric registration and then only they can do so. You know, bulk SIM uh, selling of the SIMs have also been stopped because one person could get so many SIMs and start starts attacking with fraudulent calls. And that is why the government is not in favor of this anymore. It is going to stop the bulk sale of SIMs. Other than this, we know that the launch of Sanchar Sathi portal happened in May, which was a very good initiative when it comes to knowing that what amount or what number of SIMs have been registered in what names. And bulk SIMs, the facility to provide SIM connection in bulk to companies is being discontinued. And instead, a business system will be there in which each corporate subscriber has to undertake know your customer whenever a SIM is being issued to them. Now, right now, what do we see? Aadhaar authentication is done in physical forms. Uh, Aadhaar photostat is also stored with them. But now, know your customer can also, uh, not can, but has to be undertaken. Okay, so biometric authentication is a security process. It relies on the unique biological characteristics of each individual. If any individual has to get, uh, you know, an access to a building or any data, then biometric authentication is done. And it compares physical or behavioral traits to be stored, confirmed, authentic data in the database. Typically, biometric authentication is used to manage access to physical and digital resources. And biometric identification use biometrics such as the retina scans, fingerprints to identify a person. Biometric authentication is basically the verification of the person they are claiming to be. So, chemical biometric devices use DNA matching. This can be done. We have visual biometric devices such as retina scans is, uh, is done through that to identify the subjects by analyzing the pattern of blood vessels at the back of their eyes. Then we have iris recognition which takes the pictures of our iris. Fingerprint scanning based on the fingerprints of course. Hand geometry recognition. Hand geometry recognition takes care of the shape of the hand. What is the distance between certain fingers like this? Then we have facial recognition. Our face has 80 nodal points through which our face can be identified. Then ear authentication. Basis is user's unique shape of the ear. Signature recognition. When we do our signature, that also can be recognized for biometrics. Then vein or vascular scanners, gait. Gait means how a person walks, that is gait. Then we have typing recognition, how fast a person types. That can also be undertaken. Voice ID, I have already told you the voice ID. So these are the various methods through, through which biometric authentication can be done. With respect to the recently launched Flood Watch app, consider the following statements. It has been launched by the Niti Aayog. It will be available in all the 22 languages of the 8th schedule of the Indian constitution in addition to English. It will disseminate forecast up to 7 days on a real-time basis to the public. That is of course related to floods. So what do we have to see? How many of the statements given above is or are correct? The Central Water Commission has launched this app and not the Niti Aayog. So first statement on that basis becomes incorrect. This app will disseminate information in Hindi and English, only two languages. This is one of the major challenges because if people who do not belong to these kind of linguistic characteristic, then they will have to depend on somebody else. So we have to ensure that we make it possible to, you know, get the information on uh, a regular basis for those who are not speaking either Hindi or English. All right. It will disseminate forecast of up to seven days on a real time basis. What does real time means that we are getting the information digitally of whatever is happening in the current time actual time there is no lag between the event that has happened and the information that is coming to us so first is incorrect second is incorrect third is definitely correct one only will be the correct answer the chairman of the central water commission has launched this new app flood watch it will be available in google on google play store as well and it will provide a real time flood information and forecast up to 7 days of to the general public it's user friendly it can be available in the audio manner as well and it provides information both in Hindi and English. The ability is to give real-time information. It will collect data from 338 stations and that will be across 23 states and union territories. So not all states and union territories are involved right now. 
only 23 ones and it provides its information with respect to color coding green is normal okay then we have orange which is severe yellow is above normal and red is extreme okay so this in this particular manner we can see the situation of the flood in our country ins vindhyagiri which has recently been launched is an is a or an aircraft carrier that means the one which carries aircraft like vikrant and vikramaditya offshore patrol vessel that does patrolling in the coastal areas of india then guided missile frigates the ones that can carry guided missiles and nuclear powered submarine we have to answer it correctly the correct answer to this question is option c it's a guided missile frigate that means it's a it's like a medium warship which carries these guided missiles and it is actually a part of project 17a which is related to missile frigates guided missile frigates only so option c will be correct recently the president of india launched india's newest warship ins vindhyagiri it gets its name from a mountain range in karnataka okay remember that it can be asked in your preliminary examination and it has been developed by the garden reach ship builders and engineers limited facility at the banks of the hugli river in kidderpore in kolkata and it is the advanced stealth frigate stealth means it can also bypass radars so that it cannot be known that where it is going also it is the sixth ship of the project 17a how much sixth p17 a ships are guided missile frigates and it is a follow on of the shivalik class project 17 vindhyagiri is the last of the three being built by the grsc psu and the first five ships of the project were already launched between the years 2019 and 2022 with respect to the nasha mukt bharat abhiyan which of the following is not correct the nasha mukt bharat abhiyan which has been launched in order to ensure that our country becomes drug abuse free specifically by the year 2047 and it was launched in 2020 this is definitely correct on 15th of august then it was launched by the ministry of social justice and empowerment this is also correct it works on a three pronged approach what is three pronged that means it has three areas of approach first supply has to be curbed then only we can talk about demand then awareness creation will be done and finally rehabilitation with different health programs so there are three prongs also it takes an evidence based approach what does that mean that means that whatever evidence is collected with the help of different surveys on the basis of this only the nasha mukt bharat impl implements the various policies so this is also correct it doesn't cover all the districts right now when you will go and search the nasha mukt bharat official website says that it is 372 districts as of yet and in india there are more than that so we have to see that it covers 372 vulnerable districts option c will be the correct answer over here because this is incorrect okay you understood this right so option c is correct president draupadi murmu recently launched my bengal addiction free bengal campaign under the similar initiative that is the national initiative nasha mukt bharat and i have already told you about these intricacies so let's move forward it has a three pronged approach first of all supply is curbed by the national narcotics control bureau then outreach awareness and demand reduction is done by various campaigns which are actually by the ministry of social justice and empowerment and finally treatment facilities are given at designated healthcare services the first national survey on extent and pattern of substance abuse uh, in india was actually conducted in order to know what is the actual pattern how many people consume what so alcohol is the most common psychoactive substances which is used by indians after that it is cannabis and opioids all right an action plan which is generated in order to curb all this first of all awareness generation program about the ills of drugs then focus on higher education institutes universities colleges because in this age group only most of the youths start to abuse drugs then reaching out to the community and making them understand that it is not actually their fault it is the fault of the circumstances and may be certain conditions so community approach is also here then focus on counseling and treatment facilities once a person becomes drug free we have also to ensure that they do not lapse back which is very normal very common so we do not have to normalize that behavior 
and finally capacity building programs for service providers whoever is providing the service whoever is involved in this entire process they also have to know about the human behavior so for that also we have proper prompt okay with respect to remission consider the following statements the duration of the sentence is reduced without changing the nature of the sentence that means if the sentence is 10 years of rigorous imprisonment i may reduce or i may remit it to 5 but rigorous imprisonment will be there i cannot make it 5 years of simple imprisonment i cannot do that in case of breach of any conditions of the remission it will be cancelled and the convict who would have who uh, convict would have to serve the entire term for which he she was originally sentenced because remission can be either conditional or unconditional and if there is a condition if that condition a person breaches then they may have to you know go through the entire period for which they were earlier sentenced then the provision for remission of in india is laid down only in the constitution of india that means it does not have any other acts which are related to it then how many of the statements given above is or are correct okay remission is when the state reduces prematurely reduces the term of a sentence and this is generally changing the period only and not the nature of it so first statement is correct second statement is also very correct i have already told you why and actually through articles 72 and 161 there is a provision of remission but also in the code of criminal procedure under chapter 32 there is a power to the state that they can be uh, that they can employ the remission not only constitution but crpc as well so first statement is correct second statement is correct but third is not two only will be the correct answer the supreme court has recently asked a uh, specifically justice p v nagaratna that why is this remission policy chosen selectively remission is when the state decides to reduce the sentence on the basis of certain conditions good behavior ill health like this so the supreme court wants to know why is it being used selectively why is it being abused by the political party and it she was hearing a case of petitions challenging the early release of 11 men who have been actually sentenced to life imprisonment for gang raping bilkis bano and also killing of certain people so this remission that came into existence was of for 11 men it was granted last year only on august 10 and the state when prematurely releases the convicts under remission policy this could be on good conduct that they were very good whenever they were serving their imprisonment reformation they have reformed they have changed as a person period of sentence undergone and health of the convict if it was like life imprisonment they have completed almost the half of it then also it can be remitted articles 72 and 161 of the indian constitution as well as chapter 32 of the criminal procedure code 1973 talks about suspension remission commutation of sentence of convicts and article 72 empowers the president of india and article 161 empowers the governor of the state or the union territory to pardon suspend remit or commute the sentence of a person who is convicted in in an offence but chapter 32 of the crpc from section 432 to section 435 talks about suspension remission and commutation of sentences also there are certain aspects uh, it uh, it is uh, you know why is it available you must be thinking because there are certain things that may not come during the entire proceedings of the court and when they come to light at a later stage it can be done but political parties have started abusing it and in remission the duration of the sentence is reduced without changing the nature of the sentence prisoner is released with or without condition and if it is conditional then breach of condition cannot happen under section 432 of the crpc it is the state has to take the opinion of the court who which has actually blurt out that sentence and uh, when they provide the relevant records then the government can decide that they want to grant or reject remission to the appellant okay moving on consider the following statements india has set a target of eliminating tuberculosis 5 years ahead of the global target that means we have to know what is the time when the global target is has to be achieved then pediculine and telamonide are effective for the treatment of drug resistant tb drug resistant tb means tb which cannot be cured from regular drugs and they have become resistant to that drug this is drug resistant tb 
ओके सो वॉट डू वी हैव टू सी विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट गिवन अब इज और आर करेक्ट If we talk about the elimination year for India, it is twenty twenty five. For the world, it is twenty thirty. So that is definitely correct. That India's target year is five years ahead. So first is definitely correct. And recently, Bdkalin and Delaminate they have proven to be effective when de when dealing with drug resistant TB. So both these statements are correct. Both one and two will be the correct answer. India has set a target of eliminating TB by twenty twenty five. It's also one of the sustainable development goals. Also, India continues to be the largest contributor of TB cases, but we have reduced our incidence. There has been a decline in the number of cases in 2021. Reporting of TB cases have improved so that people can get more treatment, and the incidence of TB, that is the new cases detected throughout the year, has also reduced by 18 percent if we compare 2021 to 2015. This is the baseline year from where we have to compare. The national strategy plan. that is spelled out for 2017 2025 it says that india has to report no more than 44 new tb cases and 65 total cases per lakh population by the year 2025 and the program aims to reduce the mortality to just 3 deaths per lakh by the year 2025 an online nikshe portal has also been set up so that notified tb cases can be tracked and better management of tb cases can occur also we have to understand that after covid 19 we could find more accurate molecular diagnostic tests like cbnat and tunat so that we can understand how to know what intensity and frequency of tb is this is a good thing about covid 19 also the government has made it a universal drug susceptibility test to be taken for those who are newly diagnosed with tb first it used to happen that therapy used to be given and those patients who were not responding to therapy well they were given the universal drug susceptibility test but now it is done for the newly cases newly notified cases so that proper drugs can be given and not wait for a later phase okay bdkalin and delaminate for treatment of drug resistant tb have already been included in the government's basket of drugs which are provided free of free to the tb patient and it has also replaced certain injectables moving on this is a practice question for you okay and i maintain that if it is patriotic in an englishman to fight the germans if they were to occupy this country it is much more justifiable and patriotic in my case to fight fight against the english who among the following declared the quotation mentioned above was it dada bhai nauroji madan lal thingra bal gangadhar tilak or vd savarkar comment in the comment segment i will take up the names of those students who have commented correctly let me take the names of those students as well who have answered the last question correctly okay stay with me for a moment so yes many of you have answered it correctly siddharth riya mandeep uh, pranjal vivek ashob tejas preeti pooja yalalinga prabhan uh, then komal ashish vishwajit mallinath chetan sanjay sanjay kumar good robinson Pinky, Shubham, Yash, Simran, Sharonak, uh, Kabilan, Shambhav, Abhishek, Akash. So all the best for this question as well. Answer it correctly. See you in next class. Study IQ IS. Ab tayari hui affordable.